So this next question is from James Nash in Brooklyn in New York. It's a little bit lengthy, so I'm going to read it out. You mentioned in an essay that early on in your career you were too distracted to dedicate yourself to writing and that it wasn't until you moved to Japan that you began to write in earnest. My question is twofold. Can you elaborate on what was so distracting in your early life that prevented you from a life dedicated to writing? And what about moving to Japan increased your productivity? Uh, not just goals. Um, well, goals. <laughs> um, when you're in your early 20s, you're experiencing lots and lots of things for the first time, and that is intrinsically distracting. You're learning how to do things for the first time. You're learning how to navigate as a young adult in the world for the first time. Uh, of course it's distracting. Um, and it's right that it's distracting. You shouldn't be writing books at that age. Not ones that are any good, anyway. Uh, you should be, sure, practicing and honing your craft or honing what might be your future craft, James. Uh, but you also need to be piling stuff onto the compost heap of experience that when you're older and are less able and less free and more committed to various other things, to have the time, the freedom and the opportunity to pile things onto that compost heap, you won't be able to do. So do it when you're young. And this means distractions. Embrace those distractions, actually encourage them. Uh, experience as much as you can as long as it's legal and safe and won't be hurting you. Um, so, so those things really, I mean, I, I won't go into details because, um, because this is a family show, but, 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 but um, just enjoying the fruits of the world and um, immersing yourself in its culture and learning stuff and in my case, you know, um, uh, I was living in London at the time and, 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 and that was a great time and um, a time and a place, London in the early 90s, as it still is, as all great cities are, it's still full of opportunity and full of distractions. Uh, and, 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 and I don't regret really not writing much then. Uh, instead of that, um, exploring those distractions. What about moving to Japan? Or how did move, my move to Japan increase my productivity? That in a way infantilized me in that I didn't speak the language very well and, 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 and didn't, sort of, didn't know uh, how to sort of conduct myself and, 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 and um, navigate the society. Uh, and it was somewhat isolating. I wasn't living in a big city, I was living on the edge of yeah, just outside Hiroshima and um, when I opened the windows in the morning instead of London being outside there was a few rice fields and some houses full of people who wouldn't communicate with me because that's not how it's done there and couldn't because um, we didn't share a common fluent language so in, as it turned out, a positive way, um, those distractions dwindled to quite close to zero, really. There is an expat life if you want to spend um, evenings in bars, uh, and I did a bit of that as well, but um, at this point I was in my early twenties, no, but my, my mid-twenties, really, and my contemporaries were beginning to have careers and to climb ladders that, 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 that weren't where I was uh, and I realised that a talent isn't enough. Lots of people have talent, it's not rare. Uh, you need talent and discipline uh, and no one can do that discipline for you, you have to enforce it on yourself. So I got rid of the TV, happily there was no internet in those days um, or just at the beginning. Um, and uh, just bought a laptop, a very old laptop, and started writing and started working. Actually, I started writing my first book on index cards, because I'd read that Nabokov had written on index cards, so that's how I wrote my first never published novel. Um, and that was sort of when I guess that's, that's when I started to teach myself how to write. I'm still doing it, I'm still learning, it's a lifelong thing, but you have to crack, you have to sort of reach a 
critical point where a virtuous spiral kicks in whereby the, you're good enough to begin to derive fulfillment or uh, sufficient fulfillment from writing to then not need the discipline. Uh, and if, if, you're, if you're born to write, if what you are makes writing your optimum job, you do reach this point pretty early where you no longer need discipline to write, you need the discipline to stop. And that happened to me in Japan. Um, and the isolation that being a gaijin in Japan kind of put on me or, or, or kind of locked me into. Um, I, I, I owe that isolation a debt of gratitude because it made it easier. Quite a long answer that, James, uh, but I hope it was helpful and thanks for your question.